What is going on guys? I want to review an application called VLC Media Player. Now this is a free application. It is a media player. This basically plays every single every single video file you can think of. I mean obviously there are a few exceptions, but what I'm trying to say is if you download a movie online or say you just have a movie laying around on your computer from back in the day, this VLC, this media, this program will play it. No problem. And when this really, when this program really comes in handy is when you're traveling. And when you're traveling, either maybe you're a young kid, you go to camp, or maybe you're an adult, you go work uh, somewhere far away, where, say, you don't really have an internet connection, but there are a bunch of people. And obviously today, these days, everybody has a laptop, and people are always sharing their media. So, say they have a few movies on their computer, and you're not sure, or you're, comp you're, not, you're basically not sure if your computer can play it, because you don't have the appropriate codex or whatever. This VLC, this player will play anything. And I really mean it. Again, obviously some exceptions, but it will play most video files. So basically if you have a file that you wanna say play, um, what you can do is you can just drop it in there. You can hold it, drag it, drop it in, let, let go of it, drop it in there. So now if iTunes will and, transfer um, your music into your As iPhone, you can see there, it is playing. Your I'm just going to lower the volume so you updated, guys could. Um, or you need to your iPhone. So here's the, here's the pause button, play button. You got the fast forward button. You just hold that and it'll fast forward. Now what's really awesome about this is you could essentially hire the, uh, sorry, raise the volume. Now, if you look all the way on the bottom right corner, it's at 16%. You can literally raise the volume all the way. I'm going to pause it now just for a second because I don't want it to, uh, I don't want the volume of the video to overpower uh, the volume that is right now that you guys hear me speaking. I can raise this to 125%. So with Windows Media Player or whichever media player you're using, it's it usually just, it's at 100. The maximum is at 100. So if you're playing a highly compressed video file where the audio is not so loud, you can boost that baby up all the way to 125%. So that really comes in handy. That's, that's really amazing. Another cool feature you can do with this media player is you can stream files. If you have, if you have a link to a file online, you can literally stream it from online to this uh, media player. Now you do need to have a good uh, internet connection and there needs to be a good upload connection with the server that you're downloading it from. But if you did say you want to do that, you would basically go into media and you would go into, sorry, you would go into um, open location from either a clipboard and you would type in to, um, you would type in that. Right now that's not a file, that's not a video file, that's just a link I copied in the, um, and the uh, copy and paste uh, that I did beforehand I was registering office. But anyway, if you do have a link to play, usually if you go on one of those websites where you have, they offer you links, you can put that, you can post that link in there, whatever link the link is, and you just click play and it would take some time. It would take like 30 seconds or a minute and then it would start playing the file. So I'm not really going to get into that. I just want to give you guys an overview of this application. Now, as you can see here, the volume is even raising higher than 125%. As you can see, so it, over here it just it says 125. I don't know why it's limited to 125, but when I use the scroll, uh, the sorry, the the uh, mouse scroll wheel, there we go. I said it right. You can raise that volume up to 200%. Obviously, it does sound. It will sound a little distorted. Not that much. But again, if you're having problems with the audio and you're looking to watch a movie or whatever, and the speakers, you're playing it with your speakers and it's not going that loud, this would be an amazing application to use. Now, besides for that, I don't really use this application for messing around with certain files. I just use it to play my videos as a reliable media player. Now, you could play your DVDs with it and your Blu-rays or whatever. And here's another stream where you can type in the stream file and and that's pretty much it guys so now if you guys didn't want to download this application I will show you right now where to download it from so let's open up a fresh new tab here 
and you would basically open up your web browser, whichever one you use. I'm gonna use uh, Opera, my Opera web browser, and you're gonna type in VLC. And you can even type in media, VLC media player. Now you're gonna wanna download it for from this website, uh, VideoLand official page, videoland.org. Now if you have a Mac, then you, then you would click the Mac version right here, or if you have Windows, then you would click the Windows version. Now this is compatible with probably many different versions of Windows. As you can see here, VLC for Windows 95, 98 ME. I doubt any of you guys are using that. And if you are, you probably already know about VLC Media Player. Uh, it, also, it is also compatible with Windows. Um, it's basically compatible up to Windows 10, the latest Windows. So here is where you download it. You basically click download VLC and I am due for an update. So I'll just re-download it, I don't mind. Uh, thanks, your download will shard. And here you can, uh, I'm not plugging this. If you guys want to donate, feel free to donate. I'm sure they will appreciate it. Now you would save the file once, sorry, once you click on the download button, let's go, let's rewind a little bit. Once you click on the download button, you would save it. I'm going to just save mine to the desktop. That way I can just click the file right away as soon as it's done downloading. So soon, as soon as it's done downloading, as you can see here, I'm just going to exit out of there because I don't need that anymore. And this is the exe file, and I'm just going to down double click on that, click on yes, and it's going to unpack and it's going to update the current version that's on my computer right now. So I'm just going to go next, upgrade VLC. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, you could use if it asks you which settings to use, just go through the regular settings. You don't need to really change anything. That's not going to install any spyware. There's no spyware or malware on this with this uh, media this media player. So when, once that's done, you're just gonna click on finish and there you go, you have one of the best media players out there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I hope this really helps you out in the future if you do plan on traveling, if you do have a lot of movies in your hard drive and you just want a reliable media player or you do plan on downloading a lot of movies, this is the media player to get, VLC media player. All right, guys, anyway, I will catch you in my next video.